So you know how we talk about how everything's interconnected. Uh, for example, somebody would say, well, my horse, uh, my horse is barn sour. Well, if every time they ride their horse away from the barn out on the trail or whatever, and they've got tension on the reins, even if it's just a little bit, well, they're making it difficult on the horse when he's away from the barn. So then the horse gets back to the barn and the reins slacken and the bit gets taken off and everything's cool at the barn. So over time that will develop barn sour in a horse. Just bad kitty. Just something as simple as holding a little too much tension on the reins. So uh, with that being said, we're going to talk a little bit about mounting technique. You think, okay, well, getting on a horse, how much could there be to that? But remember, it's a horse, so there's a lot, there can be a lot to it. Let's say that you've got a bad fitting saddle and your mounting technique is really bad. Well, if your mounting technique is really bad, you're going to have to over tighten the cinch in order to get on the horse without the saddle slipping. And if you're, if you're, actual riding if you're not a centered balanced rider once again you'll have to over tighten the cinch to keep your saddle from slipping as you ride around so uh, if you improve on your technique it will allow you to get on the horse without pulling on his withers and pulling on the skin under his belly from the cinch and uh, without making the horse feel like he's getting off balance when you go to get on, everything like that. So with that being said, just walk over here a little bit. So we've already talked about only putting your toe in the stirrup, all right? So a lot of people stand back here to get on their horse. And that's fine if you know your horse is okay and not gonna do anything or whatever, you know, but really good way to get on a horse is stand up by in front of his shoulder and face the other way. So I'm about to put my, only my toe in the stirrup and then I'm going to make a couple hops and this hand is not going to grab the horn because that's high and that'll pull the saddle pretty bad. This hand is going to go over and grab the far side of the forks on the, on the tree here. And also you want to try really hard to keep your body right up here against his ribs. If you get out here you will be pulling the saddle. Okay, so toe only. Now I'm gonna make a couple hops and as I make these couple hops, I'm gonna let this knee come this way. I don't want this knee to get in front of my chest because see it's blocking me from getting in close to the horse. So do it all at one time now. I'm gonna make a couple hops, bring this knee over this way when I get in close and then right as I'm about to go up, I'll reach across and place my hand right here on the far side of the fork. Okay, toe only, up by his shoulder. Okay, and then right up. And then once you're up, you can, if you can place your hand on the saddle horn, you can lean over the horn, and then that will allow you to get all, the rest of the way on the horse without accidentally kicking him in the butt with your other leg. So to kind of show that again, See, we'll get up like this, and then you can just really lean forward and put your weight on the saddle horn or on, your, on this right arm right here. And then if you bend this leg, when you bring it over, it makes it very easy to clear the candle without kicking the horse in the hind end. Okay, so uh, do it again. This time I'm just going to stay right by his ribs, but you can grab a chunk of mane and you can grab right here. If you're, out, if you're right by the side like this, you can just go here. Notice my knee's over. That allows me to get in close. Okay, one, two, and straight up. If you're coming from back out here, you can make a couple and uh, you can grab the candle, you can grab the fork with your left hand. I like to just grab a chunk of mane, but this hand can also grab the back of the cantle on the far side, but I prefer to grab right here. It seems to be a better technique. So just do it all one more time. Toe only. Okay, so you think, well, yeah, but uh, Carson's younger, maybe I'm really not that fit, but Carson's more fit and all that. But this is one of those things. It's, it's all in the technique. Uh, so 
if you guys have noticed my cinch has been undone the uh, where's oh it's right here my cinch has been undone this whole time okay hon just walk around in front i want them to see how little the saddle horn moves when i go to get on okay so just watch right here see how little i'm pulling on the horse pulling him off of balance pulling on his skin under his belly and all that now watch this if you get yourself way out here away from his ribs and you go to get on it comes right off if you grab on the top of the horn it'll come right off move your head dude but if you get in here close and put your hand low you can go right up being up close makes it really easy to pull yourself up there if you get out here uh it's very very difficult to be out here like this and like this and to pull yourself up very very hard i couldn't do it but if you're up close you might could we're just going to try this you might could even do it with one hand i'm just going to grab a chunk of mane here good deal so as insignificant and simple as getting on a horse might seem you imagine five years of getting on him with an ill-fitting saddle where the cinch had to cut him into and then you go to get on and you're really pulling on his withers and you're because the cinch is cutting him in two you've got a lot of wrinkles under his belly and then when you go to mount those wrinkles ball up more from the cinch getting pulled and then it goes to pinch him under his belly therefore he would probably start reaching around to bite because it's an irritation to him so see everything's interconnected one thing just leads to the next so uh work on your mounting technique as simple as it is over a month it can make the difference in a horse that just stands there and hangs out and lets you jump up on him and one that does the opposite of that.